Hello everybody. So I just wanted to quickly jump on and do a quick update. I haven't been able to get many videos out lately because I have just been crazy busy. If you're new to my channel, I have six kids. I've just given birth to my sixth child. So he's almost two months old now. And yeah, things have been really, really crazy. I also have three year old twins, so they keep me busy. But um, I just had like, there's so many videos that I want to get out. There's so much I've got just brewing in my head that I'm like, oh, that would be such a great video. Oh, I'd really love to put that together. But I just don't have the time to shoot videos or edit them at the moment because um, yeah, it's just been really crazy. So Nazareth is our sixth child and he's had a lot of wind. So he's been quite fussy at night when I usually sit down to edit videos so I haven't been able to do that and then I've just had no spare time during the day to be able to film it so I thought I'd quickly just jump on and maybe just share um, some things that have been happening and what I'm kind of thinking about for future videos and just to give you an update of our family so I had my mom stay with me for three weeks and she has now left so this has been my first week or I'm into my second week now and I with um, no help besides obviously you know husband and my older two um, but today I've actually had some help so um, there's a family in our homeschooling group are just the most beautiful people in the world they are absolutely amazing and so they offered to send their one of um, I think it's their second eldest daughter over to help and two of their sons have come over today as well so they spent the whole morning playing with the kids and I was able to get a whole lot of housework done so that was really special and really lovely of them and um, so so yeah but mostly I'm just um, on my own now and learning how to manage with um, four under the age of four which has been a bit of a challenge there's been some moments where I've thought oh my goodness I'm not sure that I can do this <laughs> but I always just go to God and go to prayer and um, the rosary I find that that just calms me and soothes me and helps get me back on track so definitely without the help of God I could not do this but it is my purpose and calling in life to be a mum and so that I draw my strength from God and so the other thing that's been happening is we've been kind of tossing up what we do with mass so mass has been really challenging for us with our twins they are incredibly energetic and vivacious and loud <laughs> so going to mass is almost impossible with them we have to have them outside playing in in the park that's near where we go um, for the church that we currently go to it's in a school so there's a playground there that they can go and play so it's right near the church but that means that one of the um, parents needs to be out there with them or one of the big kids needs to be out there playing and so we don't really get to enjoy mass or we try and keep them in mass but then they're just so loud and we can't hear anything and we can't focus on the mass and then you know it's it's really distracting for other parishioners um, so we've we've been tossing up what to do and my husband and I have decided that we're gonna try splitting up for mass so the young ones are gonna stay home and um, one parent will stay home with them and then the older kids will go with the other parent to mass and the other thing that we have just decided we're gonna start trying is going to the Latin mass so I have been three times now to the Latin Mass and this is what I wanted to do a video about but um, I might just give you a, a quick kind of sort of um, just idea of, of what happened when I, I started going to the Latin Mass and then maybe I might do a full video on it later but um, the first time I went to the Latin Mass I'll be honest that I didn't really get it and um, I know it's in Latin so I'm not going to understand any of it but what I mean by I didn't really get it was that I didn't understand what the the love of it 
was all about like I keep hearing that people say oh go do the Latin mass it's amazing and I didn't really feel that the first time I, it felt very foreign and strange to me which I now know is actually a, a good thing it's um, a sign that the Latin mass is different and you want it to be different so so then I went a second time and that was with all of my family so the little ones came and I was not able to focus on the mass at all so I really did not kind of um, get to see anything of what was going on because I was just trying to keep the little ones quiet the whole time and going in and out of the church as well so uh, again I didn't really notice much about it but what I did notice was and my husband did as well there were young people there like 10 year old kids there were um teenagers and like young adults that were so passionate about their faith they there was a 10 year old that we saw that he came and he got communion and he went and um, kneeled down and he was in just intense prayer i think he was either holding his missile or he was holding the rosary beads but he was in deep spiritual prayer and my husband and i noticed that and we were like wow this is amazing you know, there's something different here and then we saw a lot of teenagers a lot of young adults that were very serious about their faith very reverent and respectful and it, it was a really special thing to see so we sort of noticed that there's something very different and in a good way about this Latin mass so then I went for a third time which was last night actually and I went on my own with the baby and I had an experience that is just out of this world. It felt like heaven came down to earth in that moment in the mass. And it was a feeling of just out of this world experience. Like it was, I actually cried. I, I cried throughout almost all of the mass. It's something that my heart has been yearning for and searching for for a long long time and it's like I, I finally found what my heart was searching for if you don't know much about me we've actually converted from the Protestant faith over to Catholicism and it was like this moment where I realized this is why I left the Protestant faith because I wanted to find this and it was the Latin mass and I realized it in that moment and I was in tears so that's just a small little kind of sample of uh, what I've experienced with the Latin Mass. I want to do a bigger video on it. But we're going to now try and go to the Latin Mass. It is about 45 to 50 minutes away from us. It's going to be more expensive with petrol. You know, there's a lot of logistics that we have to figure out with it. But um, for the most part, I think that's where we're going to start going. And that's another reason why we can't split up the children. Um, sorry, I mean, that's why we do need to split up the children. And go with the older ones because the younger ones in the Latin Mass are just not going to be able to to do it, and it's going to be too distracting for the other parishioners. Um, so we've just decided that that's we're going to split them up so we can go to the going to split up our family so we can go to the the Latin Mass. So so there's that, and so I'm also currently doing a consecration to Jesus through Mary I'm doing a 33 33 day retreat with that and so I'll do a video on that one eventually but I'm halfway through at the moment so um, yeah I'll give a, a summary of everything that I've done with that in the video and my experience with it um, so there's just an update on that and then the other thing is well through the Marian consecration I've been having quite a few revelations just about parenting and about what my role is as a mother and and all of these little just spiritual nuggets that God has been giving me and I would like to do maybe a, a video on that as well just about how we are to nurture and treasure our children's hearts and you know God gave me this sort of revelation about that when a child is born they willingly give us their hearts and it's our role as mothers and fathers to make sure that we tenderly love this little heart that has been given to us and that we don't own our children they they belong to God but he has 
given us the privilege of holding that heart and guiding it through this life um, to bring this heart to Jesus. But there was just such a, a prominent thought about this, this heart that our child gives us is vulnerable and um, soft and tender and that we are to be gentle and kind with this with this heart and to not exasperate our children's hearts and that's actually biblical so I wanted to unpack that a little bit more in another video uh, we've also changed our parenting style so about two years ago we kind of started changing over the way that we were doing things um, we and when we're not perfect at this we're still struggling with it and kind of learning more about it and trying to change our ways but we made a decision to not be punitive anymore to not be to not use consequences or punishment or you know um, manipulation or anything like that but to rather use um, gentle parenting techniques and just um, guiding our children um, rather than you know using punishment to try and change their behavior and respecting them as individuals and not looking down on them not despising them so there's like, there's more bible verses about that where it, it talks about do not despise one of these little ones for their their angels in heaven um, you know commune with god every day so there's there's biblical evidence for this so i want to unpack that in a in another video when i get the time <laughs> And then also I want to bring out a video about my Christian testimony, how I became a Christian. So that's something I've got in the works as well. Just do not have the time at the moment, but I'm hoping I'll get there. I know when Nazareth sort of gets into more of a routine, I'll be able to bring out many more videos. But um, that's about all I wanted to say for now. I just wanted to quickly jump on and give you a bit of an update of what's happening to let you know I haven't forgotten about my channel I'm still very passionate about it I still want to continue bringing out lots of Catholic content about large families and being a Catholic mom and unschooling and just homemaking and and all of that so I also have a community tab that has just opened up for me so if you guys um, have any ideas about what you would like me to use the community tab for if you want to you know um, any video ideas or anything like that put them in the comments and I will um, yeah try and use the the tab for whatever things you're you're wanting me to use it for so I didn't want this video to be too long it's probably <laughs> I don't know now quite long but um, yeah so I will try and get all of these videos out to you soon and I'll see you for the next video mm -hmm.